some of the investments i had made you know i can clearly see they may not be able to make it suppose somebody has invested in 10 companies and you know uh, you can see the writing on the wall for some right like i had some investment in crypto uh, in the crypto market and uh, blockchain and crypto market and i know that i mean the value of that has gone down by almost 70 80% though it is still higher than the investment we made but it has gone down substantially so that brings sanity it means we start evaluating companies we we invest in less number of companies if my crypto account my coinbase account had 10 million dollar earlier so i could f- feel that okay 10% of it i can invest in 10 startups right 100000 dollar each now i suppose that goes down to 3 million now obviously i will you know uh you know invest very less mo- amount of money i mean that's a simple math right i mean as for angel for institutional investors typically they don't keep their money in the stock they keep it in money market or some other instruments so that they they because their their money has come to them from investors they don't want to put that risk and additional element of risk in it so but then also they they will be evaluating more on the value that startup is creating they will not at all hype cycle based things will stop anything that is okay i we are doing covid data analytics or something anything related to that it just stop right it will all be what value you are creating that is going to be evergreen not based on any hype cycle one is the valuations other is the value that you are creating through your product it has to be substantial it has to be able to withstand downward trend of hype cycle even now i would say if somebody is analyzing i mean i if there are people like uh, you know bill gates or some other people they would want us to prepare uh, prepare uh, for next pandemic there are many many we should right so your what value you are creating has to go beyond just covid it has to be how do you how does one this is just one example we are giving you know it's like uh, after 911 there are many companies which started in the space of disaster recovery it was one problem that got highlighted that that the wall street was not ready for disaster recovery right meaning if let's say a bank x had its headquarters in world trade center or nearby and all of a sudden the lines going to new york were were blacked out so their data center all their lights the accounts everything was gone so generally there is a disaster recovery mechanism was in place in many cases let's say somebody for disaster recovery had a data center in new jersey now new jersey was also impacted in this case in in kind of for some few days so then they were out really out now i know many companies start many uh, banks started doing having one outside of america right like i we were talking about foundries tsmc has foundry in taiwan what if tomorrow china attacks taiwan so they have building the foundry in israel one foundry in us so these are all disaster recovery mechanism but there are many companies started doing disaster recovery software how do you recover from a disaster quickly now of course uh, that was a hype that time the problem was highlighted and a lot of companies got funded and then people started kind of getting used to it now you know now in this people were not buying the software for for that particular purpose but they were still buying the process disaster recovery process which help them think through what are the things which are well they, they, that makes them vulnerable and how they can prepare themselves for it like building data center alternate locations having software having something in escrow having something this something there i mean that is the overall disaster i forgot the name of that industry some industry sprung up that industry did a lot better than just disaster recovery softwares and that is something that does require some experience and that's where some of the board members or some advisors can help them this that what you know it's very you know in hindsight we can say a lot of these things and you know it made a lot of sense uh, to at that point in time after 911 for everyone to buy disaster recovery software and people bought all of a sudden the sale of disaster recovery softwares went up and all that but a, any startup we're talking about startup for startup to do a disaster recovery software at that time that perhaps i i felt was more of a hype cycle whereas doing a disaster recovery process or readiness analyzing a company's data data disaster recovery uh, readiness and and helping them implement uh, you know the process and monitoring and all that that of course that made sense 
because uh, that was needed more than just the software and that's to me that's kind of tells you what is the right time for something i mean same way here there are certain things which will unattended retailer we are talking about covid or not covid it is you know is it going to be here for stay 